Change Agents, Social Entrepreneur of the Year 2015, powered by Young Turks. Our next finalist this evening, Prema Gopalan, has been encouraging women in disaster-affected areas to rebuild their lives by becoming entrepreneurs, and she's been doing that since 1993. The Swayam Shikshan Payo Group of Social Enterprises provides women's skills and entrepreneurship training, access to finance, marketing and distribution, and access to affordable health care. Over two decades, SSP has helped over 70,000 women on their journeys of entrepreneurship and helped them augment their household incomes by over 5,000 rupees. A month. Let's take a look at the Swayam Shikshan Prayog story. For 22 years, Prema Gopalan has been encouraging women in disaster affected areas to rebuild their lives by becoming leaders and entrepreneurs. With her venture Swayam Shikshan Prayog, which was founded in 1993 in the aftermath of the massive Latur earthquake that claimed over 11,000 lives in Maharashtra. Prema brought to the center stage her bold experiments with educating and empowering women to take the reins of their lives and those of their communities into their hands. Once trained, the women's groups proactively monitored reconstruction of houses, basic services and ensured that schools were restarted. From 500 villages that were served in that intervention, SSP went on to form more than 5,000 women self-help groups between 1998 to 2005. Today, the venture works with over 100,000 women in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu and Bihar. And its interventions aren't restricted to just disaster rehabilitation. In 2006, the Swayam Shikshan Prayog partnered with BP Energy to co-create smokeless stoves and formed its first sub-venture, Sakhi Retail, a rural marketing company to help local women's groups create better markets for their products. In 2009, SSP decided it must create an ecosystem, the SSP group of social enterprises that nurtures entrepreneurship and creates value chains for women to succeed in remote and excluded areas. The pillars of the SSP group are Sakhi Social Enterprise Network, which provides skills training, Sakhi Samudai Kosh, which gives access to finance, Sakhi Unique Rural Enterprise, a rural marketing and distribution network which helps improve access to finance, technology and markets. And the Sakhi Arogya Samudai Trust which focuses on women and girls' health by providing them access to affordable health care. Swine Fiction Prayog and its uh, enterprise ecosystem has uh, directly impacted the lives of more than 60,000 women entrepreneurs and this has been through building their capacities, getting them to uh, have a vision of their business through tailored business coaching and through uh, providing them uh, microcredit and also uh, access to new markets, products and services. So. 60,000 women have earned more than and continue to earn more than um, 300 crores every year. And one such woman entrepreneur is Komal Avinish Pavar, who today runs her own Kirana shop in Teeth village in Kurt near Pune. She took a loan of 20,000 rupees from SSP's microfinance institution and today earns over 4,000 rupees every month from her micro enterprise. And to further strengthen the ecosystem for women entrepreneurs, SSP also trains women in sustainable agriculture. Women are taught not only organic farming but also the importance of producing cash crops along with food crops to boost incomes. Today, the venture has also developed a sustainable revenue model with each of its branches supporting the other. Income is generated from the microfinance services, the micro enterprises earn margins from the sale of green products, and women and corporations pay fee for the training that's imparted to them. Having already grossed revenues of 60 crore rupees, SSP sets aside a part of the revenue generated to promote organic farming, and the rest is invested back into its four core vertical. We are looking at also clean energy, we are looking at uh, particularly how 
we can convert waste into energy and uh, start micro ventures in these sectors we're looking at uh, preventive healthcare services again as a as a sector in which we would grow more than 2000 women entrepreneurs and of course we are looking at how can our school of entrepreneurship reach more than 5000 youth with the uh, key skills and job placements and also raise the bar on technical skills for rural women and youth Prabha and Community the Youth Collective co-founded by Ashraf Patel, Meenu Venkateswaran and Arjun Sekhar in 1993 the trio with 20 somethings passed out some excellence and working together in Delhi as management trainees when the communal riots post the Babri Masjid demolition took place deeply impacted by what they saw, saw around them they decided to work with young people to understand violence and animosity both outside and within that was the beginning of prava and over the past 22 years prava and community have worked with nearly 100000 young leaders to launch social entrepreneurship and social inclusion projects ladies and gentlemen here's a quick glimpse at the prava story छोटी जाति की वजह से मैंने अपना सब खो दिया हम अलग नहीं है हमारी जात छोटी है हम नहीं आई ओपन अप अबाउट द सेक्सुअलिटी आई टोल्ड ऑन दैट आई वाज इंटरेस्टेड इन वुमेन बट दिस आर इन मेकिंग फन ऑफ मी लेबल्स आर क्लॉस्ट्रोफोबिक लेबल्स आर लिमिटिंग एंड लेबल्स मस्ट गो This was the broad theme of the Breaking Walls program that was organized by Prava and Community, the youth collective in Delhi Heart a few weeks ago. In many ways, this open forum that was carved out in the middle of a crowded marketplace represents the very basics of the work this organization has been doing over the last 22 years to give young people a voice. a voice that is judged but respected and even nurtured so that it may reverberate beyond the individual. Ashraf Patel, Meenu Venkateswaran and Arjun Shekhar, friends and co-workers came together in 1993 in the aftermath of the Babri Masjid communal riots to engage with young people. They began volunteering in schools over the weekends and launched a program called Positive Me where they spoke to the youth about their experiences with discrimination, patriarchy and violence. Tendency for us to instrumentalize young people. and uh, typically in today's uh, times where you know we only talk about development as economic development there's a tendency to forget that there are other indicators of development so young people may be seen typically as employers or consumers or they are seen as you know uh, people who have to be rallied around certain causes uh, uh, so they they may be be instrumentalized for different purposes depending on what lens you are wearing so our aim is actually to sort of foreground the youth centric lens where we work with young people for their own sake it was this thinking and their learnings from prava that led the team to incubate and launch community the youth collective in 2008 community is a coalition of 30 plus youth organizations that are working in their own niches to effect change using the power of the youth Over the years Prava and Community have worked with nearly 100,000 young leaders and launched nearly 400 social change projects. Essentially that young people typically hang out in four spaces. One is family which is a very important space. The other is friends again a very significant space a lot of time is spent. Third is leisure and entertainment which is like media, sports, all of that. and four there's the space of school education career that now in all these four spaces we look at where we hang out as young people typically the rules are not made by young people these spaces are not governed by young people but there is a fifth space where, where young people uh, sort of inhabit which young people inhabit which is the space where they actually create their own learning journeys where they go out in search of their own self through their own experiments in social issues or social engagement And it is these adventurous experiments that have given rise to sub-programs within community like Change Looms Within, 
which is supporting cadres of young activists to undertake social entrepreneurship to solve challenges they face in their community. Presently, a hundred young Change Loom fellows, selected from six states across India, are actioning their social change initiatives around the theme of social inclusion.